Hi. Today we're going to take a quick look at some brush basics and how to make your own path brushes. It's not hard give it a try. Alright. Open the path brushes panel, it's separate from the pixel brushes panel. Pixel brushes can import Photoshop brushes, but path brushes work differently. Okay. First step, create your own category. My brushes. And you'll see different styles like pen pencil. When you're working, you probably don't want to jump between categories all the time, right? So just pick the brush styles you like, right click, and choose move or copy to your category my brushes. Add anything you love. A path brush stroke is made of curves and nodes, so using them feels a bit different from pixel drawing. It might feel a little laggy at first because it's following the path, so don't worry if it feels strange when you're getting used to it. If you want to delete something, just right click and remove it. Today we're looking at three types solid, textured intensity, and textured image brushes. Solid brush. When you create a solid brush, it behaves almost like a pencil. You can paint with it, and you can even expand the stroke into a shape object. For vector art. Okay. All set. Just right click rename it. Now let's speed paint and color this little Sheba. If you're new here, check out part 2 and 3 of the series, they're important. You gotta get comfortable with both parts, I promise it'll get super easy for you. Faux beginners. You don't need to watch in order. Just pick whichever topic you want. Draw it simple, just like this. Okay. Next, textured intensity brush. A textured intensity brush reads the grayscale of your texture. White gives full paint, black becomes transparent, and gray gives partial intensity. So you need to make a black and white texture first. You can draw it or copy it from any program. Once done, export. Create a textured intensity brush and adjust the settings. Double click to open the brush property. The brush outline shows the stroke width, the stroke must fit the brush frame exactly. If the texture frame is too big like this, the brush gets scaled down and looks smaller than it really is, be careful with it. Don't make it too big, it needs to fit perfectly. Next, textured image brush. This one turns an image into a brush, using all its tones and colors. You can paint something yourself or crop part of an image. Let's try drawing an apple. Before exporting, you can group it, or just rasterize whatever feels easier. Export it as a PNG with transparency, Then create new textured image brush. Double click to open the brush property. In the brush properties, click repeat. It's better to keep the brush width as is and resize it later. This brush reads your image's actual colors, so turn off fill color if you want the real colors to show. Affinity still has a few things to improve here. Just be aware that strokes can distort the image depending on the curve, so handle it carefully. And that's it for this video. Beginners can jump to the tutorials in this series. Parts 1 and 2 inking and coloring are the most essential. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.